Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today I got a delivery from Sportsman's Guide. Bought me some stuff, that's right. And we're going to check out what's in this box because this box is heavy. It weighs over 40 pounds and it's seriously testing the structural integrity of my rickety little table here. So yeah. But before we do get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, 40 pounds plus Sportsman's Guide. Let's check it out right now. All right, so I got a delivery from Sportsman's Guide. And if you don't know who they are, they are an outdoor, you know, kind of, website that you can go to and you they got a club you can join and you can generally get really good deals on stuff and you know i've used them you know for a while and you'll see kind of what kind of stuff i buy from them but they do sell firearms that you can have shipped to your local ffl and you know you can get them if you know you're looking for something like that but what i ordered we're going to take a look at right now so let's see got the invoice there which i don't want to i don't want to go back over the invoice because you know it was hard enough when i hit place order so i'm not going to do that and like i said we got over 40 pounds 40 pounds of stuff and it looks like we got boxes within boxes and that's okay okay let's see what this is here hmm <clears throat> And like I said, these boxes are heavy. All right, so this is some S and B. There you go. Oh, and she's heavy. She's heavy. It's got me jelly arming. Let's see what this is. Well, technically, I ordered it, so I already know what it is. But it's a surprise for you guys, so I'm not going to tell you. We're just going to open it up. Okay, this is what we got. We've got some. This is. 115 grain 9 millimeter Luger and this is a thousand rounds not this this is 50 right yeah this is 50 but this box is a thousand rounds I have not purchased any ammo in a while because prices you know prices kind of going all over the place and especially being real high and I've been wanting to get back out because of weather the weather down here is starting to get really you know starting to break and we're getting into prime sort of you know go to the range and train kind of kind of weather going on so i did want to get some some more nine millimeter because most of my small caliber stuff you know my carbines and everything they're all nine millimeter so i will kind of go through this not super fast but i'll still go through it pretty fast and the one thing i will say about this is this was you know the prices have been creeping down and i got this for if I remember correctly, 25 cents around, really close to 24 cents around, but still, you know, 20, somewhere up in there. Definitely not the glory days of the 18 cents around that I'm used, you know, was used to buying. So, but I think the trend of the price is kind of stabilizing. I think right now for that particular uh, load, for nine millimeter i think you know 20 25 24 i think that's going to be about i hope it goes lower but you know I've, I've been seeing that price you know you can get them on specials for around that price and you know it is what it is i needed some so i went ahead and got that picked that up so yeah i wanted to do that Go ahead and have some, you know, so when I do start going out, I uh, got a really decent supply to go with without having to go into my other supply, right? All right, then we got another little box here. All right, what we got here? Okay. Okay, first thing, first things first. Let's see what, what we got here. Let me get my glasses. All right, what we got here is some Winchester. This is some 45 grain, uh, 22 250. So this is 
This is some stuff that I got. This is this their kind of this their varmint and predator kind of line of, of stuff. And this is a 40 a 40 round range pack because this this kind of go around I really plan on getting my 22 250 out and and you know giving it some love because I haven't really I haven't really taken it out, taken it out in a while actually a really long time so and 22 250 to me is a it's a it's a fun it's a fun you know it's a fun uh, particular platform to shoot I really like it so I wanted some more rounds for that so I picked up those 40 rounds and let's see I got some smaller stuff here this is some Hornaday black this is 300 blackout okay okay 208 grain I got this because this is their uh, subsonic stuff right yeah this is yeah 208 grain yes yeah, subsonic so because I do shoot a 300 blackout uh, you know uh, you know I like you know I do shoot it suppressed and when you shoot suppressed with subcon rounds with the subsonic rounds then you know you can pop them off fine without ear protection and I generally shoot a different brand what 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 do I normally have over there oh man I should have done this before I turned the camera on anyway but I did want to try this this black you know I don't know I don't really know if it makes that much of a difference it's this is uh it has their Amax projectile so whoa Boy, I'm gonna dump everything out so I you know I don't have a whole lot of experience with this particular projectile but you know I will give it a give it a little whirl and see see what it do I'm pretty sure it goes pop just like everything else I don't think I'm gonna be surprised I don't think it's gonna make me more effective you know but this is let's see says uh 1020 fps yeah 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 blah 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 blah. yeah normal stuff okay this is 40 40 rounds that i picked up for my 300 blackout that are subsonic and then let's see and then i guess when i was when i was looking i went ahead and picked up some of the exact same uh line of this particular uh ammo in a 308 winchester which is my preferred long range caliber which is you know 308 i love i love shooting 308 i never jumped on the 6.5 creedmoor train i don't knock it but i love going to you know kind of go into matches and i'm the odd man out you know literally everybody else has 6.5 creedmoor and i'm here with a 308 and but i don't go over a thousand meters so you know so it's fine and this is in 168 grain because that's what my that's what my baby loves to uh, loves to chew up is 168 grain. And these are their again these are their Amax projectiles. So I wanted to to try them out because generally I hand load for that particular platform, and you know I just wanted to see you know I mean I'm pretty sure it's going to do exactly what my rounds do. I don't really think it's that that too much different. But let's see, does it have velocity? 2700. And that's 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 right around you know where I'm at with my hand loads. I'm a little bit higher than that. I think I'm like 2715, you know, when I do my when I do my when I when I run all of my data, you know, from my SD and my ES and all that. So I try, but again, you know, when I run this platform, these are hand loads and matter of fact i got something else down here too for that but I, I just wanted to try these out you know just to see if i liked them and I'm, I'm pretty sure i will i don't see why i wouldn't and again you know this is 40 this is 220 cartridges 220 boxes sorry all right and then the final thing that's in this box are these and i'm excited about this because for the longest time i hadn't been able to find them and this is something this is a, a round that I don't have dies for, so I, I don't reload this. But these are Hornaday. These are again, these are subsonic rounds. But and this is sixty. This is sixty rounds, so it's it's not a lot. But this is uh, forty-five seventy government because I do have a really awesome Marlin lever action, you know, cowboy gun, I guess, whatever. And I, I love shooting it. 
and you know it's 45 70 government and these are subsonic rounds you know no, no real reason to shoot subsonic rounds i just you know i was buying them and you know when i was looking at the other ones i just saw that they had 45 70 government uh in, in stock and and generally when i've looked for 4570 government from a lot of websites they generally they don't it's out of stock or it comes in stock and then you know it sells out really really quick you know so i was glad to see it you know i'm, I'm glad to see a lot of a lot of stuff like this like this you know not 223 556 308 9 millimeter 45 you know i like to see stuff like this come come back in stock and and my 22 250 because for a lot of times for for quite a little bit of time you know when i did look and, and to be fair you know don't 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 go crazy but i wasn't looking every day you know it just you know i was sitting at the computer didn't have nothing to do i would go to a couple of the websites that i go to like sportsman's guide and i would look and see what was in stock and a lot of times i didn't see you know these you know kind of out of the mainstream kind of calibers that you know were always in stock and then the last thing I got, I picked up some more powder, and you know, like I said, I do I do load uh, primarily for my 308. I really don't load anything else. I used to load 223, and we have an automated press, you know, a progressive press that we did nine millimeter for, you know, regular handgun ammo, and it's you know it's nice, you know, because when you get the press set up and you and you and you you know feed all your primers and your cases and it's literally and once you get it fine tuned it's it's you know one pull up it ejects one pull up it ejects it ejects it ejects, you know and you can load a lot real quick and until you got until you run out of primers or cases or you have to reload your little powder bin but this is what this is what I load with currently is uh, Varget and you know like I said I I, I run 168 projectiles and I, I run sierra match kings and that's why i kind of wanted to try some of these different projectiles because you know i run lapua lapua brass and yeah and it, what was interesting in here is that on here they use federal 210 m primers and that's currently i, I don't use uh, 210 m primers so i may try to pick up some of those primers because i've never noticed that before because i don't really look you know, I don't really look at, because, you know, right here, they, they have a nice, and it's nice, you know, they have a little kind of chart there that'll have, you know, what this particular powder is, is you know, the best suited for, I guess. And I just noticed that. Let me say, what is that? That's some small writing there. 308. 46 grain. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's, that's different, because I don't load 46... I don't load 46 grain. I, I load 44 grain. So, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, and they say 2731 on the feet per second. I think that's that's in the neighborhood. I think I'm like 2715, 2720. But it's crazy. I don't load 46. I load 44. Hmm. I guess it don't make that much of a difference. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would. Pretty sure it does, but I run 44, and it's just because that one of the main books that I use, I have a couple books that I get. I have a Nosler that I use that I get my that I get my data out of, and let's see, I have a Spear, you know, just because I got it with some of my reloading stuff, and then let's see what else do I use? I got I got my Spear, my Nosler. I have a Sierra reference book too, but I, I don't really. I don't really use it. For some reason, I like the Nosler book. I don't know. It's just my personal preference. All right, so that's it. So that's what I got, and, you, and I'm pretty sure... Let's see. You don't really want to know how much all this stuff was, man, because she wasn't cheap. Does, do they spare me, and they don't tell me how much it was on here? Oh, no, it does. Whoo, man. Yeah, see, I didn't look. I just was adding stuff to the cart, and I said, this is the stuff I want. I'm just going to buy it. Send it. Full send. But how much you think this stuff was? That's a thousand. That's a thousand rounds of 115 nine millimeter. Let's see. That's the the 4570 government, the 22 250, the 300 blackout, and the 308. Which you know, when when you say it like that, it doesn't sound so bad. It sounds like well, it's, you know, you got a lot of I got a lot of stuff. 561 bucks.
It's okay. My wife doesn't watch these videos. It's okay. She won't know. It's okay. All right, so that's it, guys. That's all I got. Uh, before I start rambling a little bit, I may, I may ramble a little bit, but hey, if you made it this far, thank you. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. You know, if you got any questions or comments, you know, if, if you've got, you know, if you go to, let's see, if you, if you go to Sportsman's Guide, you know, let me know in the comment section. Or if you go to somewhere like, uh, what, Ammunition Depot, Ammo Man, all, all, the, all the, the normal, you know, websites that people go to when they, when they look for, for ammo. Uh, let's see what else. All right. Well, that's it. If you made it this far, please like it on your way out. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know, I've kind of been MIA for a little bit, and I'm going to get into that right now. So if you hang out with me, you know, I appreciate you. And I'm going to ramble a little bit now. So don't yell at me from, from this point forward, you know, about the video being long because I've, you've been warned. Yeah, I've been MIA for a little bit. Uh, we've, we've had a lot of stuff going on. It's been real busy. Uh, Mardi Gras season is kind of what's been going on and man i've got some stories holy moly you not gonna believe it uh, i really don't want to go into it now because it would it would you know take me a hot minute to tell you everything that's going on but i'm done uh, i pulled my last I, I pulled my last parade this past saturday which today's sunday so yesterday and i'm done so things can kind of get back to normal so so yeah you know if you guys want to know i didn't film any mardi gras videos or anything because you know those videos it's such a i don't know it's such a niche thing i guess that if i've and plus i've already got a video on my channel so if you are curious about the mardi gras stuff you can just type in mardi gras m-a-r-d-i uh g-r-a-s and I, I do have a video showing you know what we do you know getting the, the mardi gras floats and pulling them in the parade and all that kind of stuff but if you guys want to know what all happened, I can do an, like another video or maybe I can fire up a live stream or something and talk about what happened because a lot of crazy stuff went on at Mardi Gras this year. And it's not over yet. It's just, you know, my part of, you know, being part of the, of the, uh, the parades is, is kind of over with. So, yeah. But I've missed all of you guys and I'm, I'm really excited about getting back to getting some content out because... You know, I've been I've been ordering stuff, you know, like like this stuff from Sourcing with God. I've got a ton of boxes to do and we're and I'm doing the the giveaway video for the next knife. I'm going to go ahead and do that video so it'll be done, ready to publish tomorrow, Monday. So I'm going to get that video done so that that next knife giveaway is 100% without fail is going to start Monday. And with that guys, I hope all of you have been doing well and i'm very excited to be back making making videos even though it's only been like two weeks it feels like forever it feels like i haven't done this in years not years but a long time you know what i'm saying i'm out of here i hope you all are doing well and we'll see you next time guys peace